Where am I? Do I have a crown? Am I a princess? I always wanted to be a princess. Is this real life? I thought I had school this morning. <laughs> oh my god, is that real? I think my alarm just went off and I'm late for school, but I'm a princess. I should have a prince. I see frogs. He's the one. I want him to be like smart and um, may maybe maybe some purple hair will be cool. a hug here it is here it is nice and tight so today's video is so relatable to me I'm just not a morning person for some reason I'm just like so sluggish so today I'm doing 10 morning routine hacks when you're late for school or for work or whatever you're late for these should help you hold up if you guys are part of the family yet to already I encourage you guys to join I love every single family member I have you guys are the best so easy just click the subscribe button here or if you're on a mobile device it is down below today is actually a really exciting day for our family members because the MacBook Air winner and 2 million subscriber prizes are being announced today the winners are <laughs> a message from me. The last MacBook I gave away has gotten to the winner and she sent me this really cute unboxing video. It melts my heart. Try and get this video to 90,000 thumbs up. If that happens by next week, then you'll see another MacBook Air giveaway. Let's do it. So without further ado, let's jump straight onto the video. Let's go. Hey guys, so we have 15 minutes to get ready this morning. Let's hope that these hacks will get me there. Let's go. When I wake up late, I always feel so lethargic. So a great way to start the day, feel more awake and detox your body is with lemon infused water. And if you're short on time, instead of cutting a lemon and doing all that, a great hack is to just use a lemon squeezy bottle or keep a bottle of squeezed lemon juice in the fridge handy. Okay, so I love this mood hack. All you need to do is find a motivational quote, create a vision board, or even find a question to ask yourself to promote an attitude of gratitude. Place this in a frame or laminate it and place it on your mirror in the bathroom so that you can remind yourself about the amazing positive things when you brush your teeth. This is so important when you're late because feeling rushed always makes me stressed out and panicked. And you gotta brush your teeth anyways, so this is a great time to think about all these positive things while you're doing that. I also have this cool brush that has a timer that is set for 30 seconds for every section of my teeth and my brushing routine never takes more than two minutes to shorten your makeup routine in the morning if you want to use makeup is to use multi-purpose products as well as reducing your makeup to the bare essentials with foolproof formulations i have this 18 one bb cream which can replace your whole foundation routine in the morning try using a brow pencil with a soft formula and the spoolie is not only great to brush your hair but it also helps blend out any mistakes and makes your brows look soft and natural Try using a brown eyeliner pencil along your lash line and waterline, which you can smudge if you make a mistake into a nice natural look instead of trying to do the wing liner. An eyelash curler to wake up your eyes and mascara for a quick refresh pair of peepers. A cream blush is easier to apply in a rush because you can just use your fingers to blend it out. And when you use a lip tint to create an ombre lip, it's actually super quick to do and very hard to mess up because you don't need to spend time there creating the perfect lip line or anything and the colors are very, very forgiving. All these products will make you look refreshed and don't take much time or an effort to apply and it can all be done with your fingers because I always lose my makeup brushes and can't find them so using your fingers is awesome in a rush <laughs> If you're late 
late, obviously you won't have time to wash your hair and I also shower the night before. So dry shampoo is the perfect way to get rid of all the grease. A great hack is to blast the dry shampoo with a hair dryer so they can get rid of all traces of the white powder. Also there's clear dry shampoo now so you can try that if you don't want to get caught with like white streaks in your hair. <laughs> And next, choose a hairstyle that's perfect for two or three day old hair. The high ponytail is perfect. So to keep your ponytail up without it dropping down during the day, this is a great hack. Simply grab the top section of hair and tie it in place where you want your ponytail to sit. Then basically grab the remainder of your hair and pull it into the first section and use a second hair tie to tie it all together. This high ponytail does not budge guys or fall down during the day, which is awesome. And this hairstyle also lifts your features and makes you look way more refreshed and awake even though you're feeling exhausted. <laughs> So when you're late, you don't really have time to plan an outfit, so try putting together an emergency outfit burrito. All you need to do is put together an outfit that you always be comfortable wearing, and this can include socks and appropriate underwear for this particular outfit, or even accessories if you want. Simply put it together and roll it up and put it into the corner of your closet. That way, in a pinch, simply grab it and you have an outfit ready to go. Way better than what normally happens to me, which is like I basically pick up anything I find on the floor and wear it, and then I I just look like a disaster. <laughs> Skipping breakfast is not advisable, so for a healthy and quick brekkie on the go, try making some smoothie bags to put in the freezer. I have three awesome recipes to share with you guys. So the first one is a green smoothie. All you need is spinach, green apple, kiwi fruit, lemon, mint and ginger. And this is a great detox smoothie. The next is a berry and banana smoothie containing blueberry, mulberry, raspberry, strawberry and banana. This is a great antioxidant burst and perfect to keep your skin glowing. And the final one is a tropical smoothie containing pineapple, mango, honey juice, strawberry and bananas. And it's a perfect immune booster that targets inflammation and makes sure that you don't get sick because we don't want that. Simply chop up the ingredients and for super lazy people like me, you can actually find already frozen blends in your grocery store. Place them into single serve sizes in a freezer bag and then pop them in the freezer so they're always fresh, icy and ready to go. So when you're in a rush, simply take it out and blend. You can add water, milk or yogurt to this mix depending on how you like your smoothies. And a great tip if they're super frozen, simply add some hot water to it and it'll melt it right down. And I like adding water to mine because I am lactose intolerant and it tastes pretty good with just water. Now you can grab a bag and blend. And the perfect thing about this breakfast is not only is it super low calorie and super healthy, you can actually drink it on the go while you're driving or on the train or bus on the way to wherever you're going. So you save so much time. <laughs> You can also make your sandwich the night before as well by using some baking paper to keep it from getting soggy when you eat it the next day. And a bonus hack is when you're using round shaped fillings, the edges of your sandwich don't get any love and you miss the filling there. So a great way to do this is just get two slices of this, cut them all in half and then place them with the cut size facing out so you get filling in every single part of your sandwich. So for the baking paper, simply cut them to size which is slightly bigger than your sandwich and then what you want to do is place it on top of the bread and then place your first layer of filling, second, third layer of filling. You want to put your baking paper as the last layer before you finish off your sandwich and when you're ready to eat your sandwich, simply flip your sandwich bag vertically and then slip the baking paper out and that's it, you're ready to eat. It's a perfectly fresh sandwich every single time. <laughs> I was trying to think of hacks to avoid this, but really there is none. So just get into a habit of packing your bag the night before and you'll always be prepared to leave and not forget anything. The key point is really to build the habit so it becomes easier to do and you pretty much just do it without thinking. <laughs> Being late 
it probably means you're gonna forget something so you can make this DIY checklist to leave at the door to make sure everything is done before you leave just simply grab a folder or a piece of cardboard and fold it in half and cut it lengthwise then cut it vertically into these little sections in as many sections as you'd like now write the things you need to remember into these sections then simply grab some magnetic tape and if you want you can cover the surface of the tape with washi tape to make it look prettier simply peel off the back of your magnetic strip and place it so that it meets together so that you can open and close it like this now to use the checklist just simply flip it up and close it when it's done and once your checklist is all closed you know you can go out the door knowing that you haven't left anything behind if you want you can also stick a hook on the side of this for your keys next to the checklist so they're always there ready for you to take with you Yes, we made it with 18 seconds to go. We did it. So if you guys ever use any of these, please tag me. Last week we did school supply hacks and DIYs and you guys tag me in a bunch of the ones that you did. It makes me so happy. Hashtag WinchyCorns and I will check it out and I'll, I'll be stalking that hashtag all the time. It's gonna be sad. I'm not gonna see you guys for a whole week. But if you guys follow me on social or my vlog channel, I will see you there. Bye. Love you.